Oh my. <gasps> wow! Man. Logan, how long have they been watching us? Probably a pretty long time. Pretty long, embarrassing oh. amount of time is my guess. It's time for Paradox Kids Live, isn't it? Oh, great. You're so right. Does that mean? Yeah. Does that mean what I think it means? Yeah. God gathers his people. God gathers his people. Wait a second. One more time yeah, there. One more. Who gathers his people? God gathers his people. That's right. Mm. Never gets old. So good. Love when he does that. Mm. Man, so you've been having a good time this week? Yeah, it's I been a seen great you in a while. week. Yeah, I know. I've been, you know. Doing, doing your thing? Doing my thing. Doing Dang, my thing. It's been a good time. Hey, uh, after church today, you want to go grab some lunch? Yeah, that. Oh. I'm grounded, actually, so no. You're grounded? Yeah, just remembered that. Uh, aren't you like 26? Yeah, almost 27. Who grounded you? My mom, actually, which is strange. She doesn't wow. live with me anymore, but. She is still your mom. She's still my mom. Yeah, well, what did you do? Well, you know, she asked me to clean up my room and oh man, if you saw my room. <laughs> Not good, but okay. instead of cleaning up my room, I really wanted to play video games, so I played video games. Okay, okay, so you have a messy room. Your mom told you to clean it. Yes. And you play video games. Yes, I, I, I mean, there's something about cleaning up my room. I mean, if you saw it, it's a disaster. I, it was just too hard. I didn't want to do that. It was too hard? Yeah, and I was getting really distracted and uh -huh. people were getting in the way. I just, I just was like, no. I'm just gonna play video games. So I did. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, you could say that. Okay. That sounds like it would get you in a lot of trouble in a lot of situations. Well, now that you say that. up and then put it right there right there yeah uh-huh that's perfect yeah right there right there yeah yeah <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, oh Jacob! <laughs> whoops. Dude, what happened to you? What happened to me? You were supposed to help me with all of those things, oh, like with the yeah, stool. Oh, yeah, the box. You dropped the box on me, dude. Yeah, you? and piggybacking. That was fun until yeah, I got bored. Just It was too hard. Oh, my gosh. Do you not do anything that's hard, really? Huh, I guess not. Hmm. Oh man, my head is throbbing. I, I bet it is. I'm having a hard time even remembering where I am. Well, speaking of remembering things, what 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 have I been learning about? Oh, you mean like our lessons the last couple weeks? Yeah, what's been going on? Oh, good question. Well, maybe we should reference the giant timeline. Oh, good idea. Giant timeline. Wow, wow, wow. Everett, Everett, go on, move on. Come back. Ow! Gosh! You are fragile right now. Oh man, why does Everett do that every time I say, you know, the thing? Yeah, don't, don't say it. Right. Anyways, if we were gonna look at our really big timeline. Yeah. You'll see that a couple weeks ago we were learning about Obadiah the prophet. That's right. Yeah, do you remember Obadiah had that vision from God? where he was able to tell people that God was gonna restore them. Mm. Um, he was able to tell God's people that he was gonna restore them, that they'd had all those bad things happen to them and they'd been mm. attacked by um, their neighbors, their yeah. friends, but God promised to restore them back to their land. That's right. Yeah. And then after that, we got to learn about how the Israelites were 
brought back to their promised land, back to their homeland yeah. um, from Babylon. Mm -hmm. And it was just a really cool picture of how faithful God is to us. Yeah. And so that's kind of where we're at today. Yeah, do you know what? That recap reminds me of our big picture question. Great point. Oh yeah, the big picture question. Yes. But what is the big oh. picture question again? You know who's really good at remembering it? Oh yeah, 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 you're talking about them? Them. Guys, can y'all help us? We're kind of forgetting the big yeah. picture question. What is it? Oh yeah, that's right. that's right, that's right. Okay, well, for anyone who didn't hear, why don't yeah. you ask it? So, how is Jesus the perfect prophet? It's because God speaks to us through Jesus. That's right. Mm. Man, great. Man, great stuff. Great stuff, but you know, I still just don't really get why I need to be punished for the whole room thing. I get that it's dirty, but it's just so hard. I don't wanna clean up. You don't think that's a big deal? Nope. Uh, it is kind of a big deal though. Oh. I mean, if you okay. think about it, your parents asked you to clean your room. It's true. They expected you to, and you just didn't do it. You did your own thing because yeah. it was too hard. It was. But. I get why that might be confusing. I mean, no one comes into your room and doesn't seem like a big deal, all that, but you know what? Rather than just taking my word for it, why don't we read a story from God's word uh, that might help you understand a little bit more? Yeah, that sounds great. Anything we should do first? Oh, yeah, let's pray. Oh, good idea. Um, but actually, while you're praying, you think you could pray for my mom too? Yeah. Um, she's been sick. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's pray. Let's pray for Logan's mom. Pray for healing? Yeah, that's right. Because you see, Jesus, he has power over sickness and death. In fact, we see all over scripture that he's healing people and raising them from the dead and even rising from the dead himself. And yeah, well, I get that, but does he always heal people? I mean, there's a lot of sick people out there. Yeah, that's a great question and not always. And that's a hard question to answer, but basically God doesn't always choose to heal people, um, but Sometimes he does, mm -hmm. and he does it because he's good and because he loves us. And so he wants us to pray for those things, to pray for things such as healing when people close to us or even ourselves are hurting and sick. Wow, okay, well, let's pray. Yeah, let's do it. Dear Lord, um, we ask for healing for Logan's mom, that uh, your hand would be placed on her and that she uh, would be healed of her sickness. And we just ask for understanding um, of your will um, at this time. We love you and we pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Whew. I'm kind of stiff. I don't even think I could move. Well, do you want to start taking that stuff off? I feel like you feel okay. I guess I can take this stuff off. Why? Is there something you want to do? Yeah, I mean, I think you're going to want to get that stuff off for FREEZE DANCE! So what's that story you were talking about? Great question, great question. 
The story for today comes from the book of Ezra, just ah. like last week. So if you have your Bible, go ahead and grab it and open up to the book of Ezra. We're gonna be in chapters four through six. Uh, and you know what, while you're at it, we're gonna need a couple props to help Ooh. us get into the story, if yeah. you know what I mean. So grab yourself a couple chairs, like this, just like this one, for example, uh, and go ahead and get yourself two, maybe three blankets. It might not make sense right now, but if you need time to get them, go ahead and pause and we'll wait. But if you have them all, go ahead and look at your story. Uh, we're gonna be picking up where we were last week. Okay. Do you remember those Israelites from last week? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, the story from today is gonna pick up right where we left off. So, you know, rather than hearing me talk about it, why don't we go see what they're up to? Let's do it. Hey! Fellow Israelites! What's up? It's been a while. It's been a long while. Mm -hmm, Man, mm -hmm. how is temple building going, you know? Temple building. You remember that? Oh. Temple. Tem yeah. Oh my gosh, temple I building. I know, right? Temple. I forgot about temple building. I did too, yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, well, I don't know if you heard, but we like started running out of money. Oh, and no more cash. No, okay. more, cash. no more cash. And then yeah, there's that new king in Babylon. Did you hear about him? Yes, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, what did he say about well, the temple? Well, he said we couldn't build it anymore because oh. they were afraid of us getting too powerful and rebelling against them and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but and I mean. We gotta, I mean, honestly, it was really hard yeah. to build that temple. And I just took took it as a sign. I'm like, yeah. well, maybe we're not supposed to build this yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, we're all doing our own thing That's instead right. of building the temple. Right, you know? I mean, like, I remember that toilet thing I told oh, you about? Yeah. Yes, How well, I'm really close to getting that figured out. Mm, and it's not uh, I would much rather just do that. Yeah. Um, and wow, I can't believe the temple. I forgot about yeah. the temple. Uh, hey, how's uh, farming going? Oh yeah, farming. Huh. No. So oh. like, let me let me just tell you, okay, fellow uh -huh. Israelite. Like, mm -hmm. Everything I sow, I'm I'm sowing, I'm farming, yep. I reap Seeds. nothing. 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 And anything I do get uh -huh. is awful. All of it is sour or gross or just whew, All dust. the crops? All the All food? of it. It's it's so I'm spending more time farming and I can't worry about the temple. I mean I gotta oh, do my own thing. Sure. I gotta farm, you know? Yeah, there's I mean that's <sighs> that sounds more important. Yeah. Man. It's, it's really important, yeah. I mean, what should we do? I mean, like, do we just give up? Yeah, mm. I think we should just give up. I mean, do we just give up? Good we? question. It'd be easier. It'd be easier. Logan, that guy kind of looks like you. The Israelite guy? The Israelite guy. Huh. No, I don't see it. Huh. Well, okay. Well, anyways, what was the deal? I'm kind of confused with the building of the temple. Yeah, they were, uh -huh. I thought they were done. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And easily confused because last week we learned about how the Israelites were working to build the temple, right? Yeah. Great question, yeah. So last week was all about how God had been faithful to bring his people out of Babylon and back to their homeland in Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. They had started to rebuild the temple and they were worshiping God and glorifying him, mm -hmm. but that's kind of where the story ended last week. So picking mm -hmm. up here, it's the Babel, or it's the Israelites yep. um, trying to finish the temple, but well, things got kind of tough and it wasn't looking so good. And so for the time being, it was basically just the floor, but you know what? Why don't we use some of our props to help yeah, that? Let's do it. Help us understand that. We got a blanket here. We got a blanket, that's right. So. Kids, at home, if you can grab one of your blankets and just put it on the ground, just like this. Perfect, and then sit on it. Oh, comfortable. Mm-hmm. So, is this a very good fort? No, Logan, this is a terrible fort. You don't like it? No, there's nothing over us, or it's just the floor. It's just the floor, and that's kind of how the temple was. You see, the huh. Israelites, they had started to build, and they finished the foundation, and they were working on it, but then it stopped and well, a floor isn't a very good fort and That's a true. floor isn't a very good temple either. Yeah. So why don't we finish our fort before we start talking about the rest of the story? Let's do it, we have more blankets. We got more blankets and we got these chairs, we right? Chairs. So at home, grab your chairs and pull them on in close to your floor, close to your blanket. And then you can grab another blanket and make a roof. Wow. Just like that. Not bad. 
If you need some more time to build your fort, no worries. You can just hit pause and take all the time you need. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very sturdy. Not bad, huh? Not yeah. bad. Can we fit in here? All right. Here we we got to get close. Wow. Perfect. Comfy. So much space. Yeah. You know, I do have one more question. Uh-huh. You had mentioned the king. He mm. didn't seem very nice. That's right. The king in Babylon, right? Yeah. That is also kind of a confusing part because it was the king who let the Israelites go back home and build their temple last week, right? Yeah. Right. Well, this week there's a new king. See, some time had passed and a new king was in Babylon and some other person from Babylon who was in charge of looking after the Israelites saw the Israelites rebuilding the temple and, well, he didn't like it very much. So mm. he sent word back to the king. He was like, king, if you let the Israelites finish building their walls and their temple, they're going to be dangerous, and they could be dangerous to the country of Babylon. And the king didn't like that, so wow. he told them to stop working and to just give up. Hmm. But what do you think happened? Do you think that the Israelites just gave up? Well, I mean, I, I can barely clean my room. That's pretty hard, and this is really hard. But I don't know. What'd they do? Well, let's find out. We should just give up. Definitely. Like, why do we even try? Why try? I'm pretty tired of trying. I'm so tired of trying. I'm so tired. Seven years later. Mm. Oh, the bones. Oh. Hello, fellow Israelites. Oh, fellow Israelite. Fellow Israelite. What's hello. your name? Hi, guy. Ah, hi, hi guy. to you too. Oh. Yes, hello. No, no. What's your name, sir? Hi, guy. Yes, hi, guy. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, what's your name, though? No, no. Hag. Mm hmm. Guy. Yes. You're very good at that, sir. No, 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 fellow is really. Uh huh. I, I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah. Haggai. I know. I'm trying to figure out his no, name. No, no, no. His name is yes. Haggai. Haggai. We like my name is fellow Israelite. Oh. Your name. My name. Yes, is yes. Fellow okay. Israelite. But his, his name, name is, is Haggai. Haggai. Hello. Oh, hey, Haggai. Hello. how's it going, yes. Haggai? Hello. Hello. Great to meet you. Oh, no, yes. Now we have this cleared up. Uh huh. What have you guys been doing? Oh, like. For like the last few years and stuff? Yes, yes. The ah. calling has been to build the temple. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. You should tell him about this. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. see, I was, we were doing that, you yeah. know, like 16 years ago and stuff, but it got really hard. So instead, I started working on this thing. I call it the toilet. Yeah, you're gonna love it. It's like an indoor plumbing restroom thing. It, it, it was going really well, but yeah, then the, the recent winter storm hit, the pipes froze, it was a oh, mess, well, but... Uh, it was smelly, and, 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 anyways, you know. tell them about the, the crops, though. I the mean, crops. And, you know, I was planting things, uh -huh, I was planting uh -huh. wheat and barley, yeah, but yeah. all of them were failing. So, you know, I've been doing that for the last couple of years. Right, planting, right. You know. No, no, the temple. We were supposed to build the temple so that God had a place to be so that we could worship him. Oh, well, and, this is unbelievable. Well, we, we were doing that, but then the, the king, the king of the king Babylon, Babylon yeah. he said we had to stop, remember? And, yeah. uh, and it was just, we had, oh, yeah. this is all for naught. All of these things you've been investing in, they, they're all worthless. You had a calling to build the temple and you failed. You did not build the temple like God has called you. All these things you've invested in are worthless. Hey, yeah, <laughs> that guy kind of looks like you. Oh, uh, no, that's not me. Really? Yeah. You don't see, think he looks like you? Different hair, different face. Oh, the nose. Yeah, it's totally yeah. different. Mm -hmm. huh. But who is that guy? Oh, good question. Well, that's the prophet Haggai. You oh. see, the prophet Haggai was someone that God used to deliver a message to Israel, just like he used other prophets to deliver messages. Okay. Like Obadiah that we learned about yeah. a couple weeks ago. But... Haggai in particular, well, God gave him a message to basically get the Israelites to stop being lazy. You know, they had stopped building the temple for mm -hmm. all those reasons we learned about before, and God yeah. was trying to tell them to get back to it. Mm -hmm. But do you remember how the king of Babylon didn't want them to build the temple? Yeah, I do. What happened there? Well, now there's a new king in Babylon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A new king? How many kings are there? I guess that makes... Three kings since oh. the Israelites left the first time. It's a lot of change over there. Yeah, politics is wild. But anyways, so God ordained that the Israelites to keep building the temple. He yeah. used his sovereign hand or his power to get the king of Babylon to 
allow the Israelites to continue building and to finish the temple. Wow, so they really finished, but I still don't really understand. It's just a temple. What's the big deal? I mean, I bought a house. Should I write a story about that? That's a good question. And even though the temple is way more important than any house that we could live in, well, this story isn't just about a building being built or a temple being built. It's actually about so much more. It's about worshiping God. Uh, basically, the, the Israelites needed the temple so that they could go before God and worship him and praise him. Of course, God's always with us and he was with his people too, but this is something that God commanded the Israelites to do so that they could be closer to him, so that they could worship him and so that they would have a relationship with one another that could flourish. Wow, you know what? That reminds me of Jesus. No way, how so? So let me get this straight, Logan. Mm -hmm. So the Israelites, they built the temple for God to dwell in so that they could worship him. Mm -hmm. But now Jesus has come and now we don't need the temple. He's the better temple. God, God now doesn't dwell in the temple. He dwells among us. Is yeah. That, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. That's amazing too, that because of Jesus, God's not in a temple, he's with us. Yeah. Wow. We should, we should worship God just like the Israelites worship God in the temple. Yeah, let's do it. What are we gonna, what song? Oh, think about one. Think. Why don't we sing King? Why don't we sing King of Everything? It's a song of adoration, and we sing songs of adoration because Jesus is worthy of everything, of our praise, of everything we have to offer Him. So, if you're able, why don't you stand with us as we respond to God's word in worship?
So Logan, this was a great story. No kidding. But how does it relate to me cleaning my room? Oh, that's a good question. Well, just like your relationship with your parents flourishes when you respect them and obey them, yeah. our relationship with God flourishes when we praise Him and worship Him. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So, should I go, oh, uh-huh. I have a friend at work. Okay. He never cleans his room too. Wow. I'm gonna go share the story with him. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's mm. a great idea. Say, how old's your friend that can't clean his room? Oh, he's almost 34. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, uh, why? Yeah. No, no, no reason. Uh, anyways, instead of using this lesson to get him to clean his room, yeah. Um, why don't you tell him the story so that he can know how good God is? Oh, yeah, isn't that what God tells us to do? That's right. In fact, I think there's a verse in Matthew that sends us on that mission. Why don't you read it for us? You're right, one sec. So, God sends us on mission with this. This is Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I've commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Go in peace, Paradox Kids. We'll see peace. you next week.